I'm Meg McNamara. Thanks so much for checking out this CBSBaltimore.com update. Temperatures here across the state on our Sunday night. So most of us, we've left the 80s behind. We are now down into the 70s here. 75 for Baltimore, 75 for D.C. Frederick, you are at 73 degrees. As for those winds, they are pretty quiet across the state. Why is it not moving? I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. Now it went. Why did it take so long? Okay, I will begin again. Three, two, one. I'm Meg McNamara. Thanks so much for checking out this CBSBaltimore.com update. Temperatures here on our Sunday night. Most of us, we've left the 80s behind, have cooled down into the mid 70s there for Baltimore, for DC, low 70s there for folks in Frederick. As we get a check on the winds, out of the south, pretty quiet for most of us. So zero there for Baltimore, very quiet. Annapolis, right around five miles an hour. The setup on the radar and satellites. So as we zoom in here to Maryland, we can see how how quiet we are. You did notice, though, perhaps storms to the north of us, storms well to the south of us, and we do have a chance for some storms tomorrow. So this area of green here across most of central Maryland under a marginal risk for severe storms. When we talk about that marginal risk, that would be a one out of five on the scale with one being the lowest. So just something that we need to be aware of before we head out the door on our Monday morning. And the future cast. Let's time things out. So, pretty quiet through the overnight hours. By 8 a.m., not a lot of rain, very isolated and becoming a bit more scattered, it looks like, as we move into the afternoon hours. Tuesday, we do have another chance for rain. You'll notice some green there popping up. Wednesday, we look pretty quiet, and then we do see a front move through. That would be on Thursday. And of course, we are tracking the tropics for you on this Sunday night. And we do have an area of disturbed weather about a thousand miles. East, southeast of the Windward Islands. It does have a 40% chance of development over the next five days. Just something we'll be keeping an eye on. If you're taking the boat out, southeast winds right around 5 to 10 knots, it looks like. And that sunrise, yes, 5.54 a.m. Tonight, we're going to dip down to near 70, so a few degrees warmer than our average low for this time of year. Tomorrow, we are headed for 89 spotty thunderstorms. And then remember, Tuesday, we could see a few storms there as well. Temperatures, they are on the rise. So, yes, we're jumping back up into the mid-90s by midweek. I'm Meg McNamara. I'll have another update coming up on WJZ.